Hi everybody, how you doing? Do you like to have fun? Well, I like to have fun. I'm so super excited today because we're going to have lots of fun. Uh, uh, you know, a word that describes fun a lot of times is, is uh, amusement parks because, wow, you can have so much fun at an amusement park. Am I right on that? Well, sure, I'm right. There's another word to describe amusement parks, though, and that is extreme parks because, wow, there are some extreme rides that you can get on at, at theme parks. And one of my favorites has got to be the roller coaster. Do you have your favorite? What's your favorite? Well, mine, as I said, is a roller coaster. I tell you what, I could ride that roller coaster all day long, and I never get tired of it. But you know, in real life, God has created some very extreme animals that live in very extreme places, like in the bottom of the ocean or in the hot, hot desert, sometimes even inside of a volcano. So today, every day this week, we're going to visit some of these extreme animals in the extreme places where they live. We call them the Incredibles because God has made them incredible. Hey, wow, check out this extreme dude. It's called a tiger beetle, fastest bug that's on the planet. It can run six miles an hour. Now you might say, now wait a minute, Buddy Davis, six miles an hour, Pfft, that's not very fast at all. But if you would be this bug right here, that would mean that you could be running 500 miles per hour. Guys, that's as fast as a jet airplane flies through the sky. In fact, this little bug, he runs so fast that its brain can't process what it's seen and it goes blind while it's running. Well, I think I'm gonna run out of here. Talk about extreme, check this guy out. It's a millipede, over 15 inches long, has 259 legs on its body. And some millipedes, some species of millipede have as many as 750 legs. How would you like to buy shoes for these guys? I mean, you'd be at the shoe store all day long as it'd be trying on its shoes. Then it'd have to tie all those shoes and then probably put some of them on the wrong feet. Hey, look at these guys. That's a rhinoceros beetle. They're the strongest bug in the world. How strong are they? Well, they can lift 850 times their own weight. That's pretty strong. That would be like me being able to take a tank and lift it above my head. Boy, you'd have to be pretty strong to do that. I'd have to work out. That ought to do it. Well, how about this extremely bizarre looking creature? It's called tube worm. Oh, they live deep in the water, deep in the ocean, and very poisonous gases, and with its head stuck in boiling water, and its, and, and its back end, and water that's almost freezing. Wow, that's extreme at both ends. But of all the extreme animals, a favorite's gotta be dinosaurs like the T-Rex right here. Hey, can you imagine running into a T-Rex if you and I would be on an adventure deep in the jungle and we come face to face with a creature like this? Man, I'd turn and I'd probably be running as hard as I could the other direction. But you know what? In the original creation, when God first created everything, I wouldn't be afraid of this guy. No way. He could probably bend that big old head down and I could kiss him right on the nose. I'd go <laughs> and he'd probably take that big old tongue of his and give me a big old kiss right back. Wouldn't that be great? That's in the original creation. Well, here is T-Rex. And he's here to remind us what we're going to learn today in VBS, that God created all the animals, including the dinosaurs, and he did it all in only two days. God didn't need millions of years. Nothing is too hard for God. So get ready as we explore God's incredible world here at Incredible World. <laughs> <laughs> 